Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about AWS or Amazon Web Services. So, so far we have learnt a lot about Citrix, Citrix products, could be virtual apps and desktops, PVS or any other products. So, uh, if you if you observe the situation these days, most of the services are moving to the cloud. So it could be Citrix Cloud or it could be, you know, on-prem virtual desktops. Most customers are trying to, you know, integrate Citrix Cloud with AWS Cloud or Azure Cloud or it could be GCP or Google Cloud Platform. So what is actually happening is previously we used to have the on-site on-prem environment where we used to have delivery controllers, license servers, storefront servers, SQL database, all these things. So after Citrix Cloud came into the picture, the administration of all these core infrastructure Citrix components can be moved to Citrix Cloud, means Citrix Cloud, Citrix Cloud would already have these Citrix components. So as a Citrix administrator, what you need to do is you need to make sure that, you need to make sure that you can uh, you know provision your virtual desktops okay you can provision your virtual desktops you can create catalogs and you can just you know uh, give those uh, workloads or the virtual desktops to the users so what you can do is if you see citrix components are already in the citrix cloud okay delivery controllers license servers sql servers storefront servers all these things now, when it comes to VDM machines, okay, when it comes to VDM machines, because you need to give the workloads or you need to give the VDM machines to the users, server OS machines or whatever, you need to give it to the users. Those instances, you can put it on, you know, on-prem or you can put it on cloud. It could be Amazon Web Services or Azure Cloud, okay? So, this is going to, you know, be the future mostly because uh, many customers might move their uh, uh, you know infrastructure components or even video machines uh, whatever they are hosting right now to the to the cloud so that they can just do their own they can do their business you know they did not worry about you know uh, getting a space to uh, have the data center install the servers install the applications and give it to the users you know every the maintenance of all these infrastructures will be done by citrix cloud itself citrix cloud would have all the citrix components so they take care of it you know they install the patches and you know they make sure that the services or the servers are up and running fine but when it comes to aws cloud or azure cloud or google cloud where you host your virtual desktops or you know machine virtual machines or your applications or whatever it's up to you so you have to make sure that they are up and running fine they are up and up and running fine so basically we are integrating uh, the citrix cloud and also with uh, some cloud provider it could be azure or uh, amazon web services so this is just an introduction uh, you know a video for this so i just logged into the aws console so it is up to you it is up to your requirement if you like to uh, you know learn uh, Amazon Web Services, you can learn Amazon Web Services. If you, if you like to learn Azure, it is also up to you. So, depends upon your requirement, okay? But in the future, mostly, it's it's always, uh, in the future, mostly, uh, these cloud services will definitely come into the picture, even though you're working in Citrix uh, platform. So, we should, we may need to have the knowledge of uh, cloud, at least one cloud provider, so that, you know, uh, Let's say tomorrow you have some project about Citrix Cloud and Amazon Web Services integration or Azure integration, whatever. You will have great knowledge and you are ready to uh, work on this. Okay. So, so I just logged into Amazon Web Services console and uh, uh, what I see is the new AWS console home will replace your existing experience soon. Okay, the new AWS console home will replace your existing experience soon. So, uh, like, if you see, if you, if, you, if you would have accessed Amazon Web Services console way back in 2016 or 2017, so I started working, I mean, I, I had experience on this AWS thing even in 2017. 
the console was completely different okay the console was completely different but some users some users have given feedback to amazon web services that it is taking some time for them to navigate to different options okay uh, you know uh, some users had some difficulty navigating through different options so the feedback was given to the uh, aws so what they did is uh, after taking the feedback uh, from the users uh, citrix has come up with a new console i'm sorry aws has come up with a new console so if you want to once you log into aws console if you want to access the new console you can click on switch now so this is the old console this is how it looks all the services are listed here if you click on services okay these are all the services these are all the aws services so let's say if you click on compute you see ec2 okay aws app runner batch ec2 means virtual machines ec2 means virtual machines elastic beanstalk lambda uh, all these services so if you scroll down uh, okay let me let me go up yeah let me type workspaces workspaces okay if you see here uh, workspaces this is a service in uh, amazon uh, web services okay this is a service in amazon web services what it does is you can create uh, you know des it's a desktop as a service it's a desktop uh, desktop as a service platform so you know you can create you can provision your uh, uh, desktop virtual desktops and you can give it to the users you can give it to the users so this is how it looks this is the front screen amazon workspaces amazon workspaces provides users with a desktop experience as i just said it provides user with desktop experience in the cloud that can be accessed from any connected device get started now so it is all uh, quite user friendly so you know previously you need to buy the servers install it install the applications give it to the users now everything is ready on the cloud so amazon workspaces is uh, you know uh, if you have used uh, Azure Virtual Desktop or you know Microsoft Virtual Desktop or you know Citrix Virtual Apps and Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops, Windows 10 or whatever, so Amazon Workspaces is just like that. It's a desktop experience. Citrix, I mean, administrators can easily provision the machines. Okay, provision the machines, and they can give it to the users. You can, they can give it to the users. It, this is just like the competitor for Citrix, but uh, it's not quite famous uh, you know uh, unlike citrix okay this is about amazon web uh, amazon workspaces so i just want to share some details now let's go back let's go back okay let's go back okay one second okay so if you see switch now option here if you see switch now option here it is going to take us to the new screen let me click on switch now okay i just clicked on switch now so this is how the new screen looks like okay this is how the new screen looks like this is a new console okay so uh, let me click on these three drop down okay so it's like a widget this is like widgets okay these are like a drag and drop kind of thing so if you want to remove this widget you can just click on remove widget so if you want to configure by yourself uh, you know depending upon your requirement you can configure it is quite user friendly okay so this is not like a console which everybody needs to follow it's up to your requirement if you need a certain look in that case you can you know uh, you can just drag and drop and you can you know see you see here add widgets reset to default layout revert to previous console home so if you click on add widgets so these are the widgets okay so select widgets to add to your console home uh, they will be added to the uh, to the bottom of your console home okay so you can select like this and you can click add okay so it says added the widget favorites find it at the bottom of your console home click and drag to reorder your widgets or change a widget size using the widget menu so it's all quite uh, user friendly actually see you have widgets here uh, favorites here so 
So this is the uh, uh, new uh, way of uh, accessing or working on AWS console. So this is just a quick introduction video about Amazon uh, Web Services. So you know if you want to work on some services, you can click on Analytics, Application Integration, you know Blockchain, Compute Containers. It's a lot of uh, you know AWS. I think when I started, it had like 50 features or 50 services or something. Now. Uh, you know there are a lot of features a lot of things happened over the last five years and there are quite a lot of features so i mean you need not be uh, you need you need not learn all the features you need not be good on all the features so come let's say let's let's say some companies use compute okay you have to be good with ec2 you should you have to be very good with let's say you're working on some project and they need they want someone who has knowledge on ec2 in that case you should have just ec2 service knowledge okay so some some companies need elastic beanstalk or lambda so in that case you have to be good you need to do some deep dive on this particular services and database is also very important you have dynamo db elastic cache okay uh, amazon uh, document db so rds uh, relation relation relational database service yes relational database service so these are very important database services that if you work on amazon web services you might you will come across this particular concepts all right and also uh, the most important uh, service is networking and networking and content delivery so cloud front route 53 vpc is the most important service you know vpc is the most important service i i, I would say if someone asked me what is the most important service after ec2 i would say vpc vpc virtual private cloud it's very important and uh, i mean if you want to do some deep dive on amazon web services i would uh, you know request you to uh, work on this service it will be really helpful cloudfront is also really good direct connect is also really good all right route 53 is the dns service it's a dns service it says scalable dns and domain name registration anyways so this is just a quick introduction about uh, aws and uh, uh, finally what i would like to say is like it's good to learn a different technology it could be you know amazon web services or azure or google cloud platform in future if you come across uh, some work in your project you will be you know doing it uh, quite efficiently all right i really hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video Bye bye